Good morning. morning. It's day two. It's a travel day, but we're tagging on a couple hours in the park because we can. Coffee acquired. Coffee acquired. We're good to go. It's, it hasn't quite kicked in yet. So one of the things that uh, we, I personally noticed is that truly, I think Disneyland is kind of a locals park. Uh, the reason being is um, in the morning, it is very quiet. And by the by lunchtime, mid-afternoon, especially on a weekend, the crowds showed up. Where is Disney World? Everybody be rope dropping. I mean. Well, we were talking to a couple of fellow guests and some of the people drove in that morning from like an hour and a half away or so. So if you can get in there, especially on the weekends um, and rope drop ish, you can get a lot of stuff done in those first few hours before people start arriving. So we had an excellent morning yesterday morning. We were able to knock out all Some really the cool cars rides. Land, yeah. Several other rides that I'm blanking on right at this moment because my Luigi's Rockland Rockland something. <laughs> yes. Rollicking Rollicking Roadsters. I Whatever. think we finally figured out how to pronounce that. Rollicking I still can't. Roadsters. And Toll Mater's Jamboree. Yeah. Well, that was fun. So, yeah, we'll find out. Disneyland might be a bit of a different story just because everybody is still, you know, crazy about Mickey and Minnie's. Um, slightly good news this morning. It is, or maybe slightly good news. It is drizzling, so very, very When it light. rains, people melt in California. Yeah, especially in the uh, Southern, Southern California, California area. Region. Yes. If you haven't seen our previous voiceover <laughs> vlog of our uh, trip to Universal Studios Hollywood, it was draining that day. And uh, yeah, the crowds were in there, so everything was a walk on. Walk on. So if you're you don't mind a little bit of rain, pack your rain jacket and pack your rain gear. Come to the parks. Nobody's gonna be here. To be fair, in Southern California, you can get away with just a very very light rain jacket. It very rarely is gonna rain enough down here to uh to warrant that but i mean check the weather ahead of time obviously so all right on to the toy story lot we go again talk to you soon all right this is your early uh, rope dropping crowd the early entry guests are going that way so they they were able to get in since 7 30 but non-resort guests are have to wait at the hub until the park officially opens at 8 o'clock. Welcome. In 1955, Walt Disney spoke those immortal words inviting guests to step inside the happiest place on Earth for the very first time. Since its opening, Disneyland has stood as a beacon to dreamers of all ages. It evolved out of a magical storytelling realm envisioned one century ago. As we celebrate 100 years of the Walt Disney Company, we are grateful for the many friends and families who have shared this wondrous journey with us from generation to generation. We feel honored and privileged to have played a small role in presenting a century of storytelling to you and your loved ones. Today, we hope you experience all the adventures wonder and joy that your heart and imagination can hold and we hope you are as excited as we are to see what the next century will bring for your safety please walk to your next destination thank you and welcome to disneyland rope has officially been dropped. I think the plan is to, if you can hear it, um, head to the carousel. Lynn and me beyond me to push a child aside so I can ride Julie's part. But we'll find out. Hello, Mr. Rabbit. Hi, hi, 
my boys. Hello. Hey, Donald. You're still number one in your head. Number one. Donald is number one. Oh, isn't she pretty? Now go around to the right or you want to go through? Uh, let's go to the right. All right. We're pulling an audible. Oh, yes. Here is Snow White swishing well. So I think somebody in Italy, so I've heard, made all the statue and basically gave as a gift. The problem is all the statues that I gave are of the same size. So obviously Snow White's a lot taller than the dwarves. So what they did was they put it as a, you know, they put Snow White up top. So it appears that Snow White's much bigger than the dwarves. But in actuality, they're they're the same size. So that's Disney engineering at its best. There it is. And we are now through the side door of the castle. And we are now at Fantasyland. Not surprising. I think everyone's heading to Peter Pan. Oh, here, here's your morning Peter Pan crowd. And, uh, aw. Snow White, Peter Pan. We are heading to the carousel. And sure enough, nobody's gonna, we're going to go into the carousel. Yeah, let's do that. See if you become really. Yeah. You want to try it? Yeah. All right, Mike's yeah. gonna. I don't think I have the stuff. Mike's gonna. Mike's gonna try to do it. Oh. Both hands are needed. Both hands. Both hands. I just want to point out, I've never been successful, but maybe it's all right. one day. It's okay. Oh, no, nope. okay. still not worthy. No. Still not worthy. Well, next no. time. <laughs> next time. <laughs> and. Again, everybody's at Peter Pan's, so you got all these cool rides that nobody's on because everybody's riding Peter Pan. Which I, to this day, don't understand the draw of that ride. ride. It's just very, very popular. Don't come for me. It just I, I just, I think it's a fine ride. Good. But I don't think it's worth a 60 minute wait. It just doesn't, it doesn't have a lot of throughput, so it just takes a lot. Alright, let's, all right. let's see what we can do here. find this horse it is literally the very very first one right after the bench 
So typically, typically this ride is not busy at all, especially during a rope drop. So if you come here early, if you really want to ride Julie's course, you should be able to. All right. Oh, okay. Are we doing Mr. Toad's? Mr. Toad's is over there. Okay. Yeah, everybody, like I said, is at Peter Pan's. So while they're waiting in the line, you can knock out some really, knock out some rides pretty quickly here. We're doing some pin trading over there. A pin trading, excellent. Let's give our eyes feel for some characters. Because they tend to, they tend to do their little roaming business. Oh, there's, there's Wendy. There we go. See, morning, Wendy. Hey, morning. How cool is that? Oh, Wendy's gonna go ride the carousel. That's awesome. Okay, this is the coolest ride. Or I think you just talked to me. Oh, Wendy's just gonna talk to kids. Oh, that's so cool. All right, we're, we're gonna we're gonna write Mr. Toads. Very, very bizarrely storied ride for sure. I don't know how they got a, got away with the story, but you know, yeah. All right, we'll see you on the other side. Good morning, Mr. Toad. Nothing bad's ever gonna happen to you. I just love. The little details of Toad's Hall. <laughs> yeah, there might be a little turn, obviously, since this is one of the OG rides. And it's kind of a little cramped, but. To enjoy your safety by the loving, please remain like. seated with your hands fast. <laughs> Took a wild ride, got drunk, and got hit by a train, and yeah. went to uh, somewhere not so pleasant. Yes, we're. You know what's interesting is in Disney World, in the Haunted Mansion, in the um, in the cemetery, you could see Mr. Toad's um, tombstone. So, just a little bit of a little bit of a trivia there. All right, we're about to ride Alice in Wonderland. We're in this ride. Long time, so it'll be exciting and fun to get back in there. 
And of course, it wait time says 10 minutes, but there is a bit of a, a bit of a queue. So, so we're almost at the ride vehicle on ride area. Meanwhile, we uh, we are inspired by the Matterhorn, so we're gonna go ahead and just uh, order pre-order the uh, the, mac the Matterhorn macro which is a pretty iconic snack. I think the pickup time is in about 30 minutes. Um, Moody, get, I think we're gonna get the I think you can get in the Jolly Bakery Cafe uh, by Main Street. So if you are looking for that snack, that is where it would be. There's the monorail. It's so cool that the monorail just goes, comes into the park. The ones in Disney World certainly do not do that. So this is pretty unique. And they're wrapped in their hundreds wrapped. So pretty pretty. We're getting ready to ride. Alice in Wonderland. There's Captain Cook. This ride's actually really neat. Alice in Wonderland. Let's, let's keep our eyes peeled for other, for more characters. 
They're still getting it ready? Okay. Yeah, that looks like it's down. There's maintenance and guys with the That means we have to time it just right. Shall we do? That will be the last. Let's uh, let's head to Star Wars now, maybe? Okay. Or Snow White's Enchanted Tale tale is fun too. Or not that is not I'm, I'm, I'm okay. You're not you're okay. Yeah, I don't need to climb up the caps. Okay. Oh not that one, the the Snow White, not storybook circuit. No, I'm not talking about Snow White. Oh, okay. Snow White uh go to the castle and it's just one over. That's Sleeping Beauty walking door. Snow White's not so scary Mary, very merry party, I don't know. Yes, with the with a scary witch at the end or towards the beginning. Whatever that um, the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, they have very similar anim animatronics. But this is actually the, the storied ride, whereas that one is just the mine train. Let's check out the, the ride time. If it's reasonable, we'll ride it. If not, then we're not going to worry about it. This is pretty neat. Oh, well, okay. there's people in the carousel now. Maybe some of them given up on waiting on Peter Pan. I doubt it. I don't think anybody ever gives up on Peter Pan. <laughs> Ooh, there's a there's Prince Ali. Ooh, I've never met Prince Ali. Let's go. Let's go check out Prince Ali. <laughs> Pinocchio, another pretty classic dark right here in Fantasyland. Um, this one is not super popular, so it's basically a walk-on. 
yeah, but these older rides, or more classic ride, if you will, at Disneyland, there's no lightning light, so the sixty tends to move a lot faster. And these are they tend to be more of those. They're not quite on the riding track rides, but they do move fairly quickly. So, and when there's no lightning light, it can cause some congestion. All right, we're off to Peter Pinocchio's journey. Head on, head on over and pick up our matter or ma macaron. I think one of both of us are maybe a little bit low on sugar, <laughs> so <laughs> this would be a nice little replenishment. So keeping an eye out for those poison apples, but I don't think, I think they're sold out. I, I have not seen one the whole time we've been nope. here, and if there was Me a poison neither. apple, somebody would have it. Yep. Uh, All right. This is the uh, Holly Jolly Holiday Bakery Cafe. So, I think we ordered ours about 30 minutes ago. It should be ready. And I totally forgot to hit the. That you're ready? Let's uh, do it. Okay. Alright, while Mike is picking up the macaron, I just found a seat right on the outskirt of the plaza or. Jolly Holiday Bakery Cafe dining area. Uh, just people watch for a bit. It's really, it's quite the view. This is the perfect spot for parades. You can find it, I'm sure. Mike is getting ready to order some breakfast barbecue at Bengal Barbecue. But I so happen to be standing outside of Indiana Jones Adventure, Temple of the Forbidden Eye, but they are closed for refurbishment. But really cool. One thing that is, you, you might already know about this, but outside of Disneyland, there is a little tree house. Um, a little leprechaun resides there currently. I don't know if he's home or not. It's like his little oil lamp is on so he might be at home who knows anyways so apparently they struck a deal that um, he gets to keep his little tree so it is right over here so if you're wanted to find a little hidden gem it is right outside of Indiana Jones's uh, adventure all right oh, ooh. seems like we um, have found food there's some sort of a skewer it's very Asian inspired Got cilantro, some pickles, and hummus, and some vegetables. So looks like this is a pretty healthy, healthy choice. We're fueled up and ready to go. I think both of us were slightly low on fuel and sugar. We did have caffeine, but I think that's burned off. So, anyways, I had some uh, pretty, I would say, pretty decent barbecue. Uh, decent. Yeah. And you know, we had pork belly and a um, satay, some sort of skewer. 
Um, a little bit of, of beef, and we got the spicy. It's kind of it's peanut butter, peanut buttery, peanut buttery with a little a hint of spiciness. Oh, I didn't get any. Peanut I got the peanut. I got peanut no, butter. Um, so that was good. And then we got an assortment of hum hummuses. Hum hum I. I don't Seasonal know. hummus assortment. Hum hummuses. Like fresh vegetables. Yes, the fresh vegetables. I didn't know I wanted vegetables mm. until I had vegetables. Um, so we're gonna try to hit up Buzz Lightyear. That this one is slightly different from the one in Orlando, uh, simply because it's a little bit more updated. I think and this one you can pick up. You can the pick gun. up the gun. Yeah, the gun's not. Yeah, you know, like hard welded <laughs> to, to the your front to your seat, the, which makes it challenging. Uh, and, purpose doom buggy. And, and I think this one gives you a little bit of a the little laser indicator of your, where your gun's pointing at. So, oh, we, got, we, yep, we got sources coming, and theoretically, you should be able to do better here, but. I'm terrible when it comes to uh, point and shoot type of games or first shooter, first person shooter games. So Mike is way way more better than that at night. Well, you do have out of the two of us the personal high score. Well, oh, well, you know, I personally admit to the fact that you know the right broke down as I was. You, you got stuck I got in stuck front of a... in front of a really high target. So yeah, I mean that that was not because I perfected my technique by any means. Um, Dapper Dance. Love them. top of the Disney Railway Station. It's a, got a beautiful view of Main Street. We got City Hall over there, uh, Walt's apartment of course on top of the fire station, and the castle is currently blocked by that tree. But we got a couple of, oh, Donald's over there doing something. Let's, let's see him real quick. Mr. Lincoln. Um, I think we showed you yesterday that it's got turned into a bit of a, a little museum, um, just kind of with a lot of artifacts and old um, oh, memorabilia. Oh, there's there's Chip and Dale. We should go check out Chip and Dale in their uh, hunter's costume. Let's do that. Yeah. All right. Or we can just can we walk down over here? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go say hi to Chip and Dale. Gotta gotta say hi to the boys. I mean. Especially since they're decked out in their costume. Alright, gotta be careful. Alright, ready? Here's 
being up high because you yeah, see what's going on and find the perfect vantage point to scout out characters and uh, Pluto was just there before Donald but we got, we got so this is fantastic we made it yes we got to meet Chip and Dale and their hundreds we were the last one before they needed a snack break yeah yeah they, they went to go and finish off their acorns but they'll be back later but now we are riding the Disneyland Railway. I thought we had missed it, but we didn't, so really, really excited. Alright, we're all ready to go. All aboard. I think the idea is after we go around the full perimeter of Disneyland, I think it's time to head up. Pretty long trip ahead of us, but this will be a great, a great way, way to and our, our trip here in Disneyland, yeah. riding at the iconic Disneyland Railroad. Thank you. 
you head out. Sun's coming out. Oh, there's one of them roasty toasties. Oh, there's. Hop on out here to check out the castle and in the sunlight. Yeah. She's all pink and shiny. Main Street's a lot more lit up now. The rain cloud's gone. Alright, we're gonna head back in here. Just to check out what Mike's up to. Yeah, these window displays are all super cute. Notice the uh, horse and the dog over there. Sweet. So interesting. I've never checked out the side of those. Oh, this is all oh, very cute. Uh, of course, we've got Peter Pan. You can't see very well, but of course, on, on the other side, it's the Cinderella story. Let's check in here. No, then we have Mike. Oh, that, those are cute ears. No shortage of merch, that's for sure. This is super cute. What is this? Let's say. Oh, a little post it note holder. It's in the shape of a, a typewriter. Disneyland merch, Fox and the Helm, a Fox and Thumper, I guess. Oh, this is cute. I saw these ones. What are these? What are they supposed to be? They're supposed to be just fuzzy. This one looks like a banana. Ah, this one's funny. Funny looking. It's cute. I saw, I saw this on somebody's head. I thought that was really cute. The one that this lovely gentleman is organizing. Ah, fantastic. Sorry. Uh, let's see if you'll let me. Let's see if you'll let me purchase this one. Pardon me. Pardon me. Let's go for Mike. Oh, sorry. Pardon. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, you thought I had the same. Oh my I goodness. I grabbed you. Oh, that is. Aww. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. All right, yeah, but that's, that's, that's the, the one, one that. Yeah, okay. I think that's the one that I want. Oh, look at this. It's a mini with really, really long arms. Disneyland, Starbucks. Well, I'm good. Not seeing anything that's. Don't see anything that's standing out. Yep, yeah, let's score you the spirit jersey. Road let's, trip. Uh, bus on back to uh, the Toy Story lot and let's embark on our journey. <laughs> Just so much stuff. All right, well, we're going to say goodbye to Walt. Well, thank you, Walt. See you next time. All right, I think that's, uh, that's pretty much it for this trip. Uh, we may talk a little bit more about some of the things during our really long drive back, but uh, that's it for now.